Now I will install Fox Pro 2.6 on DOS 6.22. We'll activate the installer by running install command. As you can see, this is already a Microsoft product in 1993 and it is asking us to change some parameters in the configs file. I am saying no right now. Fox Pro 2.6 was a great product. I worked on it for several years um, and uh, here it is asking us to provide a folder where it will install the Fox Pro. I'm specifying to use the C drive for this and it is asking us various options to install. I'll specify all the options as yes. Don't want to modify the path right now it is installing all the required stuff and it has completed the part one of the install i doubt part two will fail there you go it failed with too many files open up uh, error so we'll correct this i think it was the configs file we have to edit it and increase the number of open files option We'll do that parameter change in config.sys. Open files, make it 40. And restarting the system, we'll go back to the Fox Pro 2.6 folder and we'll launch Fox Pro. So here is the Fox Pro 2.6 and it was already owned by Microsoft Corporation in 1994. Earlier it was by Aston Tate. Uh, this version is by Microsoft. This is a welcome screen. Um, I'm just going to tell it not to show this again. Um, we'll go to the Fox Pro system. Fox Pro is uh, initially started with a small command window on the bottom right and here I'm looking at the DIR to see any DBF files already existing. I will use one of the existing Fox Pro help file and we can use the list command to see all the rows. We can look at the structure using display structure command and we can list a specific column using list column name listing all the rows from that column we can also run uh, basic functions using the question mark and here I'm looking at the date time and we can also do some simple math We can close all the open DBF files using close all and Fox Pro came with this uh, simple menu system where we can do several of the operations using the menu. Also it came with some of the tools like uh, it came up with a puzzle for spending some time, free time. It had a ASCII character chart. It had a calculator to perform basic simple operations we used to even do a screen capture uh, this is in a character mode screen capture what it does is it basically places it on the clipboard that's it with the Fox Pro